I get my pie uh, straight up, uh, straight up, uh, uh, or or uh, uh. No hands, no hands. I don't know what to think about that. I don't know what. Like I'm into the points, but they're not your average points. Thanks to it, Psycho Nako Man for my sub gift. Wow, 37 months. Cha 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 cha. Madam Five B A H. Madam Five Bubble. Hey guys, it's Madam Mario. Uh, straight, straight, uh, what timing? Uh, uh, Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Welcome to my Monday stream. But thank you so much, points. Power to Mario, for the gift sub. Uh, big PTM in the house. Madeline Molina, enjoy your gift sub. Welcome back to the Ba family. Thank you so much, PTM. Just immediately throwing out a sub. I give a pie, uh, straight, uh, straight, uh, uh, or, or, uh, uh. And no, okay, no, I don't know what to think about that. A, a psycho nacho man, points, thank you so much for the sub points. as well. Oh, yeah, Madam 47 <laughs> cool. Instant hype train. Thank you so much, you guys. And thank you, Armand, for the gift sub as well. Armand 2017 sub during the starting soon screen. Welcome, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and start saying hi to everybody who's here. I'm Madam Oreo. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. Mario Gamerable, Phantom Tempest, Power to Mario. Wow, big Siri bot makes an appearance. I feel like Siri bot never makes an appearance when she's supposed to. I don't know. Psycho Nacho Man, Armand 2017. Um, we have. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, we have Phoenix Warriors, Tim Lauren. Uh, Battle and Melina, getting that gift sub. Uh, Stardev94, Cassie H2, and Silverstar65, Big Odin Spec is in the house. Did I say your name, PTM? I think I did. Power to Mario. I'll say it again because <laughs> I'm not sure. Thank you guys so much for the immediate hype. I really appreciate it. Um, today's going to be a bit of a mix, a little bit different than previous weeks because I actually am going to play something later today. I will be playing Mario Party, the OG. I've been in the mood to play uh, Luigi's Engine Room for whatever reason, so I'll probably be playing that board. Um, and then I have a Patreon Roll the Die Challenge brought to you once again by Scottman895. So there's a little command that shows you what each of the rolls do. The stipulation is basically if I lose a minigame, I have to roll the dice and do a challenge. So, or uh, whatever is requested. So that's kind of the T. Pretty simple, pretty easy to follow. And I've got a little cheat sheet for you guys and for myself. Um, shout out to my Patreon family. And just so you guys are aware, 
my Patreon um, is about to renew for the month of April. So if you are somebody who's interested in um, getting your name on the credits page featured every stream, this lovely little credits page right here, these are all of my $5 plus patrons. So if you pledge at least $5, this is a perk that you get as part of my streams. This is this renews at the beginning of every single month. I think it renews on the fourth of each month. So we've got a little less than a week until this actually renews, but I like to just give a heads up in case anybody was considering this or was interested and didn't know when that would actually um, go through. So again, thank you to my $5 plus patrons. Thank you to all of my Patreon family members. And um, also, if you pledge as little as $1 a month, then you can get access to all of those polls that decide the board each week for Friday Night Mario Party. So, something else to consider. Also, um, on that note, I also have my podcast that will go up at the very end of this month, and it's going to be a little teaser. It's going to be all about Kirby, so I'm very excited for that one, too. Oh, PTM getting triple hellos, because I can never say P say I can never say PTM enough. I guess I can never say hi to PTM enough. <laughs> Dream Night, welcome to the stream. Um, thank you guys for being here. So we're gonna do a little bit of just chatting. I do have some things that I've been meaning to talk about, but there hasn't really been a good place to talk about them. And I didn't want to talk about anything too prematurely. Um and even talking about it now is, it's a little premature still, but I don't care at this point. I'm just gonna talk about it anyway. So you guys may remember there was a donation goal a while back for the PAX East fund. And PAX East is April 24th, like the weekend of April 24th, something like that. Um, and originally I was going to go with Zenonia, my, my girl Zenonia, my future sister-in-law, and one of my great friends here from the gaming community and just from life. But we were gonna go together, and I know I'm saying this in past tense because this was all planned out before the government got back to uh, myself and Odinspack about our wedding. So those details have since um, changed because now we're gonna be um, we're gonna be embarking on what is the last leg of this engagement before our wedding. So we just canceled the we canceled the trip. We canceled the Pax East plans. It was too soon before all of that. It's in the midst of the mumbo jumbo of us doing the last step. It just seemed like a really bad idea to try and be like, okay, that's cool that we need to be doing this government stuff, but I gotta go on this to this convention really quick. Like that just did not seem like the vibe um, and didn't seem like a great idea. So we currently um, are waiting on our exit interview, which is the last step of the visa process before we can officially get married. Um, that's happening in early April. Fingers crossed if we get everything we need for it. We're still waiting on one piece of material for it. And if we don't get it, we'll have to reschedule. So it's like, okay, please work out. So I'm praying every single night for this. Um, Odie and I have been praying like crazy, you know, just hoping, having faith, being like, you know, hopeful and just please let this happen. I mean, it's like every leg of this has been so complicated and so ridiculous that it's just, you know, no one will ever know. No one will ever truly know what has gone on behind the scenes and how complex it has been. So, um, you know, and it's not necessary for me to lay it all out here, but I do want you guys to know that I've just put the PAX East funds away. I've saved them for um, possibly next year or possibly a different convention that we'll do um, and do like a, a video vlog of or something. I'm so backed up on these video vlogs, by the way. I had this plan that I was gonna hammer out all these videos in February and that did not happen because of XYZ. Um, instead, I ended up hammering out more government details for what I just talked to you guys about. So that was not <laughs> good timing for that. So, you know, I'm working on it slowly but surely. I'm not gonna make any promises of when they're gonna be up or something like that, when that kind of stuff is gonna be out. I'm just gonna say it's in the works. 
Thank you for being patient for me, because that's all I can ask um, at this point. Drift Looney, welcome to the stream. I don't think I said hi to you yet. Deep Looper C, welcome as well. And happy Monday to you. So anyway, it's been a, a crazy um, journey this past three years. We never intended to be engaged for three years. I mean, we thought we'd be married a long time ago. Um, when we originally started this process, they told the government told us seven to nine months, and it's been three years as of June. So it's been, or it hasn't quite been three years yet, but it's getting close. So it's like, wow, this is really cool. Thanks, um, thanks for the pandemic and everything. Yeah, marriage speedrun win. I wish we're like the slowest ever at <laughs> this rate. <laughs> So thank you guys for your prayers and positive energy and just positive thoughts. Um, a lot of you have helped us along the way. Ma many of you have helped us along the way, honestly. Um, some of you have directly helped us. Um, you know, we had to fulfill a retreat requirement for our marriage preparation. You guys, several of you donated to allow us to do that because it was um, not something that we could just, it wasn't the cheapest thing that, that we could do. and. I still need to write thank you notes again. Thank you for your patience for all of this. I feel like I have a million things on my backlog, but um, to anybody who has helped us through this journey, honestly, all of you guys here, just being here and like being in the audience and providing, um, you know, th this community, that just helps so much to have like an outlet that's not thinking about this all the time. So I just am very grateful to all of you for being here and for keeping us sane in this regard. Oh, hi, Kit. Wow. The kitties are going crazy. Jilly is passed out in her tunnel and Kit is over to the side on the table. Um, Toma, welcome to the stream. Doing well today. I got all my dailies done before the stream. Um, just so you guys know, this is just a reminder. This week, my Monday, Tuesday streams are at 2 p.m. Eastern. Last week, they were at 3 p.m. I'm in the middle of trying to figure out which time I like best um, and what will work best for me because I do want to push these streams back a little bit. And I was able to get everything that I needed to get done, like daily routine kind of stuff. I do yoga every single day. Um, I have a reflection I do every day for Lent right now. Like, I was able to do, like, all of that stuff before the stream, so that's really awesome. Oh, Kit, what you do? <laughs> She's like, what? Uh, Kaboomek, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. So anyway, um, 2 p.m. might work out as a good time. I don't know. I'm, like, so torn because I like both of these start times. What, baby? Okay. I don't know if you guys seen here, but she is talking. You have a lot to say. <laughs> She's like, I'm part of this. Look at those legs. Look at that baby. What you do? Okay, well, good talk. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can try 2 a.m. next week. Let's just stream in the middle of the night. Sounds like a great idea. I've been trying to get on an earlier schedule and, you know, not that I wanted to be sick but one of the things that because I was sick I was getting to bed earlier and I was getting up earlier so that was actually really nice it helped me get me back it helped me get back on track with my sleep schedule because it threw me off so badly with daylight savings time anyway um that I'm like now trying to get on not a crazy I'm not on an early schedule by any means but I am on a slightly earlier schedule as far as going to bed earlier and getting up earlier, which is what I've been wanting. Um, also represent, I've got the tumble die ready for the day. Odie actually got me a whole set of like metal heart. They're, they're so cute. They have like um, pink, it's like a hot pink heart design on them. Um, he got me a set of dice for Valentine's Day. It's like in case we play games together. So now I technically have more than just like, I mean, I already did, but now I have a really cute set of, um, more than just like a six-sided die, which this is my favorite because Mario Party, even though it's technically 10, which is like, what? Um, anyway. Oh, you're probably... Okay, sorry about that. Um, Cassie, you're not dreaming. Oh, really? 
Sorry, my capture card every once in a while likes to use my microphone instead of itself for audio, which is incredibly dumb, so I apologize if I've been echoing the whole time. Um, it shouldn't be echoing now. I fixed it. Sorry. I should have double-checked that before the stream. My, uh, I really like this capture card, but it is very, very finicky with audio at times. That's like the most difficult part of it. Uh, or the most difficult part of it. I mean, I guess that is difficult, but it's the most annoying part of it. Where I'm just like, okay, can you like not be like this? Can you just work like you're supposed to and not have me go in and mess with settings every five seconds? Because it's like if I unplug one game system and plug a different one in, that's where it typically trips up. And I always deactivate it or unplug it before I even do this and it still doesn't want to do its job correctly. <clears throat> so I don't even know what, but... What? Hi, baby. Um, so you guys, I'm working on some new merch for my Etsy store. You guys will really love it. It is Kirby themed to go alongside Kirby uh, and the Forgotten Land, which I started on Saturday. If you guys are interested in watching my first reaction, first impression, very first, <clears throat> excuse me, session of that game, it is on YouTube. Check it out. Um, and I totally understand if you're avoiding spoilers and all that. I am very much that person too when it comes to new games. So. I understand if you um, have chosen not- Oh my god, I love this song so much! You do too? This is my favorite song from Fire Emblem Awakening. I know it seems like so basic, but I love this song. This is my favorite. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to get that out there. Um, it's so good. I've been working on new merch. It is- um, gonna be one of the more affordable pieces so that's always good I've made a lot of like big ticket items lately and I'm like I think I need some smaller items because I want to be able to provide merch to all income levels I know I'm not always a person who can you know break I, I don't want anybody to break the bank um, if you can't you know well I don't want anybody to break the bank ever because that's not good but you know what I mean um, you want to boop all the kitties noses Oh my, what do you think about that? She said, ew. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I, um, I'm playing, my schedule right now is a little bit more set than it was before. Um, Monday is still like variety, crafting, kind of whatever I'm feeling. Monday's kind of my open day. Um, and I do like to do just chatting on these days because then I can like really connect with you guys and kind of catch up or do any kind of announcements like I just did that are, don't really have a great place in like Friday Night Mario Party. I don't want to be like, oh wow, you know, by the way you guys, like it's just nice to have like kind of an update day. So Monday's gonna be be staying the same, but Tuesday is currently Bowser's Fury. I don't think it's gonna be a long game, so it probably won't um, be for too many more weeks, I would say. If anything, it'll be like the month of April and then probably finish up because again, I don't really think it's that long of a game. Um, just by looking at it, um, but Bowser's Fury is on Tuesdays, Friday is going to remain Friday Night Mario Party, that never changes, and then Saturday is going to be Kirby in the Forgotten Land for the next bit, and because I am playing this without, you know, knowing anything about the game or watching anything about the game, um, I don't know how long it is, but typically Kirby is not, like, insanely long either, but that's kind of the plan for right now, so I don't, um... I will probably update that on my Twitch layout, or, tw well, I guess so, on my Twitch About section in April, because we're at the very end of this month, so it seems a little silly to update it right now, but, um, anyway, that's just what you can expect from my schedule, and again, I will set an actual time for Monday and Tuesday, and I might shift it around a little bit if I have to, like, make appointments or something in the afternoon on those days, which doesn't happen very often, but it could. Um, I currently have to get uh, physical therapy on my shoulder, um, which has been a long time coming that I just didn't, I don't know, I didn't really catch. It's one of those things where I feel so silly because having taught dance, like, I know the alignment of, like, how your back is supposed to be and this and that. And when I was sick, that was one of the things that started bothering me because I was laying down a lot more. And I start, I've always had, you guys know, you guys probably know this because I've complained about it on stream before. I get spasms in my back a lot in the same spot, always. Um, and so I finally went and got it checked out and they were like, um... 
Well, that's cute because your entire shoulder is... All the muscles are completely out of alignment. And I was like, wow, cool. So my muscles and my shoulder are out of alignment. I think it's been like... Probably just from overuse, like, or... What I was told by the doctor is my left side's probably weaker than my right side, and so it just is doing its own thing, which is not what we need. Um, so... <laughs> So anyway, if I for whatever reason have to do that on like a Monday or Tuesday, then I'll push the start time back or however I need to, but, um, you know, it shouldn't be anything crazy. Also, Big Phantom Tempest, how's it going? Um, oh good, your Kingdom Hearts fan art for today is done! I haven't made any more sketches since my sketch of my Turning Red sketch, but I love when you guys post all your creative stuff in the Discord. Um, and kudos to you for finishing another piece of fan art because I know how long it takes. I'm gonna go ahead and just share the Discord for anybody who is not part of that already. Um, but anyway, yes. Where's my- why is this not popping up? Okay, there we go. I'm like, I'm trying to pull up a Discord and it's not doing what I want it to do. Oh, so cute! Let's go! 20th anniversary? Seriously? Today is the 20th anniversary? Did this game come out, like, way before, um, it come out in Japan, like, way before it did in North America or something? Because that's, like, quite a jump. Because didn't it come out, like, right at Christmas? Because I know I got it for Christmas, but I'm pretty sure it did. I don't know. That's crazy. Oh, it's so cute, though, Phantom. How do I- I gotta give it a ba. There we go. I, I've given it a ba. Wow, that's such a jump. Isn't that kind of crazy? Like it came out that far ahead of um, North America. Dang, that's crazy. I love Kingdom Hearts so much. So, so much. Oh my goodness. Okay, so um, you guys, I'm trying to think. I feel like there was another announcement maybe, possibly, but know that it was anything super important we can probably um <clears throat> excuse me transition over to the game here soon uh just because i think i've gotten all my big announcements out of the way but oh that yes pixie oh i should talk about that i my movie week number two starts today Shaga for days up ladies thank you so much for the sub average points welcome back to the bar family ladies sub ladies thank you so much uh shy guy for days represent i love it thank you so much and nick ninja adams welcome to the stream so I've been doing my- I guess I should catch up with this on here because I can talk about- I always talk about this for forever it seems, but anybody who missed it over the weekend, I've been doing- um, last week I did a- basically my own movie week. I watched a different movie or two. Some nights I watched two. I watched a different movie or two every night. Um, and when I say movie, I mean specifically like Disney and Pixar. Disney slash Pixar. Not all of them are Pixar, but um, they're all Disney. So I've been watching all these movies that I've missed over the, f the past few years. Most of them are pretty recent, as in like within the past five years. Um, some are a little bit older than that. And I just have never seen them. Um, I think the oldest one I've watched has been The Incredibles, which came out in 2004. That may be the oldest one that I watch, because I feel like everything else that's on my watch list is newer. So, um, I'm planning to, uh, continue that today. I knew I wouldn't be able to do it, uh, do any over the weekend, because Friday and Saturday I stream. So by the time I'm done streaming, it's too late, and I don't- unless I want to stay up until, like, 3 o'clock in the morning. By the time I, I finish, like, after I stream, I always back everything up and get everything ready for the next day. And that usually takes me, like, anywhere from a half hour to an hour, depending. Half hour to 45 minutes. Um, and then I always have to eat and then clean up and get ready for, you know, for bed and all that stuff. It just takes longer than it should um, by the time you do all these things. Um, so I was like, that's not happening. I know it's not happening. Um, and then I was going to watch something on Sunday, but then my sister texted me and she always has, she's always had an Oscar party. 
Um, in recent years, it's been more like, let's get together and watch the Oscars together. Um, but she wanted to do that again and have dinner, and so I knew I wouldn't be watching any movies yesterday either. And I said I was going to play Mario Kart in the afternoon, which I did. I actually ended up playing um, in Odin's Fax tournament, so that was a lot of fun. And um, he did a stream, just a short stream, yesterday afternoon, kind of in the time frame that I was available. And then I also got some crocheting done. So I had a productive weekend. Anyway, so tonight I'm going to continue... Um, the next movie on my list is Big Hero 6. I also want to watch Raya and the Last Dragon. Um, and I wish I would have watched that last week because it was nominated for Best Animated Feature, um, at the Oscars and I didn't realize that. And I'm like, oh man, I watched two out of three that, like, were nominated Disney movies. Crap. So I missed it. Um, I missed watching it before then, but I did, um, I do have it on my list for this week. And I know my sister said she liked that one quite a bit. We don't always exactly line up with our tastes necessarily. Um, but I think, I, I think that one we'll probably see more. For the first time ever we'll see, no, we'll probably see more to eye, eye more eye to eye on that one. Wow. Words. Um, you watched Raya? It was, it was a good one? Yes. Let's go. Um, you've heard a lot of mixed things about Raya. Your boyfriend enjoyed it, but I've heard people say they really didn't like it. I mean, I feel like that's like every single movie. Because there are some people that, there, there's, there's some people. There are some movies that some of you guys have been like, I love that one. And I watched it and I was like, mm. And then other ones that I'm probably like, guys, that was so good. And you're like, I didn't really like that one that much. So it's like hard to gauge by what anybody else says a lot of the time anyway. Um, but yeah, honestly, I think when it comes to the two that I had seen um, during last week, I watched, I watched so many movies last week, but I did watch, um, I watched Encanto at the beginning of the year, so it is on my list. Pretty much anything I've watched this year I put on my list because there were only a handful, two or three, that I'd watched before I started doing this. I did watch Encanto and I watched um, Luca. And I think out of the two, I think I liked Luca better, in all honesty. Um, however, I knew it probably wasn't going to win just because of the hype that Encanto has received beyond Luca. I just, personally, I liked Luca better, I think. Eye to Eye is a song from one of the greatest Disney movies of all time, a goofy movie. If you've not seen it, you should watch it. Um, I'm behind on Disney movies, too, because of lockdowns. What? That's the time to catch up. Let's go. Um, oh, awesome, Phantom. Congratulations. That's awesome. Well, I'm so happy you're able to finally schedule a visit. I know how it is, so... Um, but yeah, I just, I just like, I've been really enjoying this, but I have a whole list to go still, and I have several on that list that other people want to watch with me, so uh, there are some movies that I just haven't watched yet because of that. My sister invited me over to watch the Oscars, and she's like, I don't even know if I get the Oscars on any of my, like, streaming channels that I have, so... Maybe, I was like, well, if you don't, then we'll just watch Coco, because we're supposed to watch that together, but, um, but that didn't even, it, it didn't end up mattering, because, uh, we were able to watch the Oscars via seven-day free trial of YouTube TV, yay! Um, I saw Jungle Cruise in theaters, actually, and I really liked it, I love the, I love any kind of feminine power, and it also was a great, like, animal rights representation, which just directly speaks to my heart so I was very um and I I worked in um Epcot and Walt Disney World and so you know Magic Kingdom was just like I was there almost every single night just like wandering around or hanging out and Jungle Cruise was one of those rides that was kind of on my um I would always take the same route when I'd enter the park I would like go to Pirates first and then work around from there um and so Jungle Cruise was always fun. It's like, let's go on it during the day. Let's go on it at night. So it was fun to see, like, one of the rides turn into a movie again. Um, hey, look. You're streaming at 2 p.m. now. Whoa, Madden Casanova! How's it going? Yeah, this week is my 2 p.m. time. Thank you so much for the bits. Welcome to the stream. Um, but 
Odin's back went and saw Jungle Cruise with me. I probably liked it more than he did. Um, but again, it just like personally spoke to things that I really hold value in. Mira Hokun, welcome to the stream. Welcome on in. Um, anyway, I think Odie's favorite part was that The Rock was in it. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> okay. That was his selling point. I'm like, whatever floats your boat. No pun intended, but yeah. So anyway, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I've been doing that. That's something that I'm going to continue tonight. So I'm going to watch Big Hero 6 tonight. I was like, if I watched one, it was going to be that over the weekend and it never happened. So I'll just continue with that tonight. I did watch The Incredibles last week with Odin Spec. So we're probably going to watch the sequel this week. Um... We usually have date night on Tuesday nights, so that'll probably be tomorrow, and then maybe I'll watch Raya on Wednesday. I might- Wednesday, Thursday's my weekend, so those are the nights where I can maybe watch two movies, but, um, but yeah. I just, um, you know, I'm trying to get through all of them, and as I'm watching them, I am writing- I've got, like, a document that I'm writing with, like, a short little, like, pros and cons list of each movie- um, if I would watch it again, if it made me cry, like, that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm having, I'm kind of having trouble with the whole, like, would you watch it again question, because I don't know how to word it, because it, it's like, would you watch it again? Yes, no. It's so black or white, and there are very few <clears throat> that would be like, no, I wouldn't watch it again, and very few that would be like, yes, I would watch this all the time. So it's like, they're all kind of in a gray area. Most of them are in a gray area of like, yeah, I would watch it if somebody asked me to watch it with them. Or yes, I would watch it again if it was just like coming on TV and there was, and it was like, oh yeah, this is cute. Like I, but I wouldn't like go out of my way to be like, I'm going to go put this movie. Like I might not do that. So I'm just having a hard time trying to figure out like, how do I word this? How do I say this? Um, but yeah. So, I, I liked The Incredibles. I, action superhero movies are not my favorite in general, so I knew it wasn't going to be my favorite going into it, but I did enjoy it. There hasn't been a movie yet that I haven't enjoyed. Um, anyway. Um, <clears throat> um, I've never read Kingdom Keepers. One of my friends that I worked, or that I lived with, in down in Disney World, she was really into it and really enjoyed those books. Um, I've never read them, but I kind of just lived that life. So, <laughs> you know, she was like, "It's kind of like us, except like fantasy-ish," and I was like, "Oh, sweet!" So, you know, um, super fun. But uh, speaking of The Rock, your mom hates The Rock. Why? I don't know. I'm not like a huge rock fan. Like, or fan of The Rock, I'm sorry. I probably need the in front of it. Odie's just a huge wrestling fan, so like, he gets excited over these people. So anyway, that's my plan for this week to continue this movie marathon. I'm also gonna continue crocheting. I'm working on um, projects for my Etsy store. And hopefully get some new things up this week. Hoping to get some new stuff up by the end of the week at least. And also, um, I'm putting together a giveaway package for... I want to have a giveaway once I hit 200 subscribers. I'm trying to get my sub count back up. And so I'm trying to put together something. And it's going to be a lot of my own like handmade merch. But that's what I'm working on too, so maybe- I'm hoping to have that ready to go and present by the weekend, but we'll see. Anyway. Do I think The Rock loves Rock? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe he does. Um, Dream Night, I don't want any spoilers for Kingdom Hearts. I haven't played all the games, so like, I- I try to avoid the Kingdom Hearts topic a lot because people will be like, Have you done this world? And I'll be like, thanks, I didn't know that existed and you just ruined it for me, wow. So, let's not go there. I really didn't want to know that such and such wasn't in it already, so I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna elaborate on that anymore. No Kingdom Hearts talk. <laughs> No Kingdom Hearts talk because then people will immediately spoil every world that I didn't know about. 
Um, and if I've managed not to know about it this long, I don't want to know about it now. So anyway, I think that we're about ready to transition over. Those are just like my overview plans for this week. Um, and what's gonna happen um, stream wise and all that fun stuff. So uh, let me plug in my controller because we need I everybody knows I can't play without a controller even though I like to test cartridges without controllers for some reason. Um, let's go ahead and transition over and get this set up. So I have the board picked. Oh, 5 a.m. in Animal Crossing New Horizons is so cute. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna pause it though. <laughs> sorry. Um, okay. This cartridge is the one, one of the ones that's finicky too. And every once in a while it'll be like, your data has been erased. I'm like, has it? No. Oh, come on. Why are you not? Why? Come on now. This is why we really do need these games digitally and Nintendo's like, oh, we'll add like a rotate the Joy-Con minigame to Superstars, but then we'll act like we can't add this to um, the N64 online or whatever. By the way, what the heck Nintendo? I thought you were restocking the dang, uh, whatever it's called, N64 controller this month, or this month, this year, we're like three months in. Is this just like not, this is on the right, um, oh, it's not on the right source, no wonder, okay. Oh, but it's also not working. What the heck? If Mario Party 1 is... There it goes. Okay, sorry. That took a lot of uh, oh. a lot of tries, which is worrisome. But um, <clears throat> okay, I'm going to turn this down. It's really loud. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Yes. And I actually remember to change the background this time. So, hooray for that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna switch to- oh, thank you, Pixie. We're gonna switch to this. Again, I'm gonna be doing a Patreon challenge with this. Um, that's brought to you by Scottman895. I don't believe he's here at the moment, but, um, hopefully he'll stop by at some point. And this is a roll the die challenge, so if I lose a mini game. I have to roll my little tumble dice block. Um, if I roll a one, he really wanted me to hype me undies, which is a company that I'm trying to uh, get a sponsorship with this year. And by trying, I mean I'm like hyping it all the time and I need to still contact them, whoops. Um, if I roll a two, I have to make Wario a CPU on the next turn. Um, obviously if he loses a mini game, then that doesn't count but I do have to do that for the next turn. If I roll a three, I have to play the next mini game with my controller upside down. Rolling a four means I have to say no to a star on that turn. Whoa, speak of the devil, there's Scottman. Thank you so much for the bits. So you thought the Scottman was going to miss the Patreon challenge? <laughs> have no fear, I have arrived. Oh, thank you Madam so much Five for the Bubble. bits, Scottman. Oh, Madam Five Bubble. Thank you so much for the bits, Scott Man, and thank you for the challenge as well. We're just going over the different um, roles. Uh, so number four, I have to say uh, no to a star on that particular turn, and I can't steal stars either. Number five, I have to play um, the mini game with my eyes closed, and number six, nothing happens. That's where I get off the hook. So I hope to roll sixes if I, you know need to strategize or something uh <laughs> been a very busy work day well thanks for stopping by in the midst of your very busy work day um oops. Okay. i wanted to uh work in this you know challenge because 
I knew that, like, it would not technically be March anymore by the time we have Friday Night Mario Party, and I also thought it'd be fun to just, like, have a little bit of gaming happen on a Monday, um, since it's been a while, but... Anyway. So, yaho! Okay, one player. And Wario. Okay, you guys know the drill. You can pick my CPUs simply by putting whichever character's name you want in the chat. And I've had some people get greedy lately and put like all three, and if you do that, then you'll just get the first one you named. <laughs> I'm like, no, you don't get to pick all three characters, you just get one. Um, you know. <laughs> Okay, let's roll for the first choice, which is going to be Big Kaboomek, who chooses Yoshi! Big Yoshi hype! And then next up we have Mario Game Robo, who chooses... Let's see. Sorry, I gotta search for... Uh... I wish it would highlight the comment, but it doesn't do this. I don't even know if Mario Gamerable picked a character. A picked a character. Sorry. Um, so feel free to pick one MGA. And then Big Casanova also gonna pick a character. Um, okay, Cass picks Mario. Did we get a choice from? Oh, Big D. How lame. I'm kidding. Yeah, I am gonna set everybody to hard since this is a challenge. It seems a little silly for me to do anything else. And I am gonna play Luigi's Engine Room because I'm I've been in the mood to play it and we have seen um, we've seen the bead the beads? The boards featured in Mario Party Superstars quite a bit. We've also seen Mario's Rainbow Castle a lot. Um, I feel like that's the one I end up playing, or like Eternal Star, so we're just gonna do this one. I feel like Luigi and DK's boards get ignored a lot, even though I really enjoy both of those boards. Wario's Battle Canyon gets ignored for obvious reasons, and Bowser's Magma Mountain is just like, not good either. I honestly feel like I enjoy Bowser's Magma Mountain less than Wario's board. Like, I think it's like the most annoying one, because it's just like, it's very lackluster. I don't know. That's just how I feel about it, though. Also, TwitchNick21, welcome to the stream! Jilly, you're just so cozy in your tunnel. She's so sweet. Okay. So are you guys ready for an adventure? We're just doing 35 turns. Um, because 50 will just take too long, and 20 will just be way too short. So we're gonna do, like, just a regular old normal size board. I am going second, which is good, because that means I have a little bit of time um, to activate, like, if I get the CPU uh, challenge rolled. I don't have to, like, hurry as much as if I'm player one. So. Okay. Always hated this board. All the CPUs keep using Boo. I guess that's true. Boo is in, like, a really bad spot for this board, because it's like, you pass him no matter what. But it's, I have a lot of luck on this board where I feel like computer players, at least in my experience, have decided to just steal coins instead of stars in a lot of ways. Also, if I lose a single player minigame, it doesn't count. The only uh, thing that counts are the minigames at the end of the turn. Why do I always get this one? I always get this one, and it's so, like... There's, like, one way to win it, and that's it. Like... And because Wario got that bulbous belly, I've gotta be slipping most of the time. Dang it, gave me the hardest course, too. Okay. <laughs> did it! I did it! I did it! And I did it! Anyway. Eternal Star is a unique board. It's just, like, takes longer than the other boards. It's not my favorite either. It takes longer and it you have to concentrate and pay more attention than I'm willing to do a lot of the time. Um, I love the music. The music is a jam. 
but... I don't know. If I were to rank the boards... Mario's Rainbow Castle is, like, the best music. I'd probably put it first, just because, like, I love the music. The star mechanic isn't my favorite, but it's also not... I feel like the layout is pretty good, though, in general, of the board. I'd probably just say it's my favorite, but... I also really love Peach's Birthday Cake. That's probably my second favorite. Um... And I love the design of Yoshi's Island, but I just hate the star mechanic on that one. It's just so frustrating, and I have, like, the worst luck with it, which is the only reason I'm, like, tempted not to, like, say, oh, that's, like, one of my favorites, but... Where it's, like, a lot of the time I would almost rather play this board or the DK board. The DK board is actually pretty solid because it's a decent size. It's a decent size, and it also has the star moving mechanic, just like this board does. That's what's great about the DK and Luigi boards. The star moves around. It's not, like, in one spot the whole time. Okay, I really tried to get him. Dang it! I really tried to get Yoshi! Oh! Oh! On Toad, pick something that I can win with. Yeah. Oh my God, he did not. Finish. Okay, finally, <laughs> finally. I would say. Okay, so let me think. Bowser's Magma Mountain's got to be my least favorite. Um, then probably Wario's Battle Canyon. Not my idea of the greatest time. So I would probably put those two on the bottom. And then, probably... It's weird, because when making this list, it's like, I'll play any of the boards. I will play any of them. And there's not one that I'm like, oh no, I'm not playing that. Like, I, I, there's none that I dislike that much that I just won't play it ever. But I definitely play Mag Magma Mountain the least. Um, which is weird, because like in um, Mario Party 2... Bowser Land's one of my favorites. I don't know. It's hard for me to even make a list, because it's like, I feel like I know my least fav two least favorites, and my two favorites and the others could just be any order, and it wouldn't matter. That's kind of how I feel. I feel like any of the others could change order, like Luigi, DK, Yoshi, and um, Eternal Star. It's like, oh, whatever. I don't know. Okay, there's no way to lose this, and I somehow managed to get both of those first sets, so I am not suffering yet, but... Yeah, the coin-a-thon minigames. I guess I could do it where, like, if I don't get the highest number of coins, then it's considered a loss. But I feel like I got that. <laughs> Will I actually come out on top this time? Who knows? Um, yeah, Bowserland is a million times more interesting than Magma Mountain, I agree. 11? 15? I got that coin bag. That is a lie. That is an absolute big fat phony lie. Um, Yoshi's Tropical Island is your least favorite? It's definitely not my least favorite. I would never say that. And I, like I said, I'd be tempted to put it at number three if the star mechanic was different, but I feel like it's just lumped with the others because I'm like, I don't know which one to pick. They're all, they're all fun. I'll play any of them. Um, Wario's Battle Canyon's your least favorite Twitch Nick. Um, yeah, it's just not the time. I'm going to go ahead and roll just because. And I got a five. And I don't remember what that means, so that's, um, you know, something. Oh, I have to close my eyes on the next minigame. Okay, well, dang! I have to close my eyes on the next minigame. And that means if I get any single player, not that I will, because I got a single player, like... I got the single player on this path already. No, I'm not paying money for this. No. 
My eyes aren't even closed yet, Pixie. They're not even closed yet. Um, you like Mario, Peach, DK, Luigi, Eternal Star, Bowser, Wario, and then Yoshi's in big last. I don't- yeah, I would never put Yoshi in last because I do enjoy the whole atmosphere of that board way too much to ever put it in a last place spot. But it is annoying. But I could also say that it has basically the same mechanic. Kind of. Not quite. Oh my, I have to play this with my eye? Oh, this is gonna be so bad. I don't even know where I'm starting. Okay, this is not good. Okay, I don't even know what I did. I feel like, I was like, I don't even know where my, uh start is. I'm gonna assume it's in the upper right corner, but I feel like I didn't move enough. Okay, I lost, which I, I don't roll again if I lose from that, but yikes. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the queen zone. Everybody else wins. You guys suck. What was I gonna say? Oh, Mario, Mario's Rainbow Castle and Yoshi's Tropical Island kind of have the same mechanic as, like, sometimes it's Bowser, sometimes it's Toad. But the only difference is you're going the same place every single time in Mario's Rainbow Castle, whereas you're not in... You're not going the same place every single time in Yoshi's Tropical Island. And he's gonna steal from me, but luckily Mario Party 1 is a lot less broken when it comes to this and you don't have to mash the A button for no reason. Okay, you got seven. I still have enough. What do you think, Julie? So sweet. She's so sweet in there. Good job, DK. Good job. Why don't you make this the longest turn possible for all of us? He's rolled like eight tens already, and there have only been like three turns. You just always get rigged with Yoshi's board? I can understand that. It is frustrating, for sure. Spiky Taco Triple Seven, how's it going? I think we watched an easy CPU play this and get like one match. <laughs> Which was kind of funny. I hadn't seen that in a long time. Um. I say hi to you and your response is okay. I'm kidding. No. Um, I'm assuming you're saying you're doing okay. <laughs> it's going okay. Have you guys ever done that where... You know, like, uh, when you say the wrong response to something, like, somebody says, like, happy birthday, and you're like, yeah, you too, and you're like, that doesn't make sense. Um, I feel like that's one that I've done a lot of times, where, like, somebody will be like, <laughs> I've accidentally done that to Odie before, where he'll be like, I love you, and I'll be like, okay. <laughs> that's what I meant to say. <laughs> like, if I don't hear it right, and I don't think he said I love you, and he said, like, if I mistake it for him saying, like, He'll say, like, gotta go, love you, but I, like, cut him off before he says love you. I'll be like, okay, and then it just sounds like a really, really terrible response to him saying I love you, and... <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, it happens more often than I would like to admit, too. So annoying. Or, like, I do that at restaurants a lot. Like, somebody will bring my food out, and they'll be like, enjoy, and I'll be like, you too. And I'm like, you're not gonna enjoy my food. You're, like, working. Like, there's no way you're having as great a time. <laughs> no, not me too, Mario Gamer Bowl. It's just okay. But it's always mixed with something else. Like, I've gotta go, but I love you. Okay. <laughs> no. Um... But yeah. Or just saying, like, you're welcome at really not the time to say you're welcome is just, like, that happens a lot. And I'm like, why? Why do I do this? Have I ever said love you to the wrong person? I don't think I've ever said- I mean, I don't know that I've ever said I love you just to, like- I feel like that wouldn't- I, I don't know a situation where that would happen, where I would just accidentally tell somebody I love them. Whom I did not love. <laughs> I don't know, I love a lot of people. I feel like I tell most people I love them. 
I say that to you guys all the time. Like, love you guys, have a great week, have a great night, you know. Because I love this community. And, you know. Um, gotta get going, Cassie. Have fun playing Fortnite. Um, and have a good rest of your day. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, you got skunked, because I only have, like, two coins, so... I don't know why you would choose to steal from me. I'm <laughs> just an idiot. And yes, I know. He's like, because you're in first, but, like, why? Like, I have no coins! That's just stupid! Oh, man. Lack of plant! The game is playing the Yoshi. Anyway. Da -da 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 -da. Um, are you the only person that wants all the boards from Mario Party and Superstars? I feel like if you had said, am I the only person that doesn't want any of the Mario Party boards and Mario Party Superstars, then yeah, you'd probably be the only one. But um, absolutely not. I feel like most people want all of the boards in Mario Party Superstars. I would. There's not a board I would say no to. Like, honestly. I, I would- I'll just- I'll take any of them. I, I love them. I love all of them! Um, but yeah. Is it not polite to say goodbye to your managers at work when your shift ends? I think it's polite to say bye to everybody who you encounter on your way out of work. I think that's fine. Good evening! Oh, and board! Good afternoon! How's it going? I would love to have Western Land and Mario Party Superstars. I would love to have any of those boards. I feel like Mario Party 2, there's only one board that I'd be like, what? And that would be, if they were like, we're adding Mystery Land over any of the others, I'd be like, okay. But, um, I don't think I'd be disappointed with, like, any of the other boards. Ever. Um. Okay, that was a very long turn. And again, there's like no way to lose this, so I'll just do the same thing as before. No! That was my money! I was in front of it! Are you serious? The game cheated me. I am not rolling for this if it's gonna cheat me like that. No, this is my hammer! Mine, you idiots! Okay, I think I got it, but I don't know if Yoshi got it. I have no idea. I have no idea. I already got my favorite- What?! I get less than Yoshi? I already got my favorite two boards from uh, Mario Party 2 in Superstars, so anything else is just cake. Or cherry on top. Okay, I rolled a three. Uh, which, again... Oh, I have to play upside down next time. Julie, what are you doing, little girl? What are you doing? You're so sweet. <laughs> She's just like, I love this. I love rolling around in my tunnel. Um, you love Rainbow Castle, but I hope we get a different board from one since Tropical Island and Birthday Cake are a bit too similar. Again, I, th I don't think I'd have a problem with any of the ones from one unless they were like, Magma Mountain, and I'd be like, okay. I mean, I would still play it. It just would be like a weird choice, not my first choice. Um, yeah. Hope we get Hot bob -omb, where Yoshi loses. We usually get it. I feel like we get that one pretty frequently. Because it's like a four player, unless we get three, 1v3 like this, then we're okay, but... Okay, I'll have to play with this upside down. Luckily, this is a pretty easy one upside down for the three players. So I get a little bit off the hook here. Remember when I- I need to like find the- If anybody has a clip of this, feel free to share it in the like clip channel on Discord. Um, but I wanted to save that clip of me just totally beast moding this when I 100% should have lost. Like, when I played this and it just gave me the game even though the piranha was, like, standing in front of me biting and I didn't lose somehow. So if anybody has a clip of that, feel free to share. Because... I want to I want to stay on top of downloading clips so they don't get lost within the year when I make my next clip show. But... 
you know. Well, we lost, but it... The... But anytime I play those minigames, like, with an alteration, I don't think it counts for rolling. Also, I have no money, people. Come on, now. I need to go buy Boo. Okay's by the store and stuff. If you hear crunching, it's Jilly rolling around in this little cat tunnel of hers. She loves it. BK's boobs look so weird in this game. Okay. Oh, I'm bored! That's amazing! Thank you so much for the support! Especially for your birthday. That always means a lot to me. Thank you. Um, DK's boobs look weird in this game. Like, the, I don't know, just the, the weird- they're like too short or something. Everybody has boobs. Even DK. Okay, I'm going to steal from Yoshi because he has the most money. And that's just the way I do this a lot of the time. Um. <laughs> Phantom, it's just, I'm just being myself, you guys. I can't help it. Everybody has boobs. Like, anybody who's like, oh my god, that's dirty. Like, it's not dirty. It's literally a body part. Like, we all have them. Guy or girl. Y'all have nips. Sorry. Like, hate to break it to you, but we all have these things. Anyway. Crane game. Oh, sweet. Okay. Well, he's not gonna go for me. I have, like, two coins. Eleven coins. You going for Yoshi. Dang, how did Yoshi make bank? I guess with, uh... Yikes. Okay, that's not even for everyone. I don't know what this- I'm not gonna comment on what is going on on the screen, but... Finish. How- He got a lot of coins from... Whatever it's called. Piranhas. No. What's the name of that game? Whack-a-plant. I couldn't remember the name of it. I'm like, that is not what it's called. Yikes. Okay, anyway. Da 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 da! Um. Also, Philo Joe, welcome to the stream. What? Why are you stealing my star? What did I do to. What did I do to you? I didn't do one thing to DK. See, look. Look how short they are. It doesn't look right. They need to be, like, down lower. He doesn't have a neck. I, I don't know that it's actually his boobs. I think it's the fact that he doesn't have a neck is the problem. I don't know. Very weird. Okay. Um, which way do I want to go? Oh, not that. So if I go this way, I... That is the way I want to go. Because I do want to go up. I want to go up, roll low, and then roll high the next turn. Yeah. What? PTM? Uh, yeah, it's pronounced Han. Per Han Has. Per Suit. Per Suit. I'm sorry. See, I can't even do it when you spell it out. <laughs> Not true either. Poison? Why are you guys all getting poisoned on this mushroom? Okay, this is like not the four player I wanted from this. What do I have to do? Do I have a stipulation? No. Okay, no. No! Oh my god, I'm so tired of you people. And I hate the mechanic of this minigame, because I can never grab anybody. Wait, thanks. Sorry, you have way too much money. Look, I have like two dollars. One! I hate this minigame so much. This is like my number one, like, worst. Oh, no! Oh, shoot. I like 
No, my bag is... This is my bag, baby. Stop going for me! Go for somebody else, you big ape! Go back to the freaking jungle! No one likes you. Your tie and your weird short boobs aren't fooling anybody! Okay. I don't even get my face shown on the victory. Okay, I didn't lose anything, so I'm considering that a win. Uh. Grab the clip of that piranha game. Oh, piranha. Oh, I was like, what are you talking about, Pixie? No, the one that I literally just talked about. Did somebody land on a happening space? This is not the way I needed this to go. Okay, hold on. I had an orange juice sip. Okay, I'm going this way because then I can get a happening space. Well, thanks, Pixie. Big appreciate. No. I don't want to pay- 20 is way too much. It should seriously be like 10. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I just miss- Either I miscalculated this or I just- I don't know. I don't know what I did, but I messed up. Somehow. Nick Ninja, have a good rest of your day. Also, big Shleem, welcome to the stream. Okay, good. Finally. One that I am absolutely obsessed with. Please don't make me the conductor, though. Give me any instrument. Why? Sure. Julie, why does it do? I could have fun if I were not the conductor. <laughs> this is so dumb. Every time it makes me the conductor. This is like my second favorite minigame and it makes me the conductor every time. Finish. Well, that's right. Give it up for the conductor, ladies. Thanks, Psycho. This is how I feel right now, not having been made the trumpet player. Violinist, drummer, none. Lame. It always gives me the most boring job, where I don't get to make fun noises. Oh well. At least I won. At the very least, I did win, and I'm probably gonna get a... 2v2 minigame with DK. Oh well. Your mom! Your mom, Cass! How did you do this? I'm kidding. Uh. That's true, the trumpet player did miss the fr very first note of that minigame somehow. Okay, good. Short, sweet, and easy. I will take this. So like I said, I went to my sister's and I watched the Oscars last night. Which I don't like to watch award shows like that in general anymore, but that's like the one that I'll watch because I know that like... Because it's kind of a tradition at this point, just because like my sister has always had like a party for the Oscars and we've watched it every single year together like as a family. So it's more of like a tradition reason and a, an excuse to get together and have dinner and stuff than it is just like about the award show. Like, who cares? They're all the same thing. They're all just a big popularity contest that only includes like a select few, not all actors and all talents, but like the ones that are gonna get the, you know, biggest money-making media coverage. And, like, it's all just like, uh, the music industry I feel like is worse, which is why I just don't watch those at all. Cause I'm like, they never represent the artists that I care the most about. You know, it's just a big, um, you know, publicity ploy in a lot of ways. So, but anyway, uh, we did watch it last night and I had only seen- I really didn't see any of, like, the main 
uh, best picture nominated movies. I've only I only saw things that were like nominated for like the other the smaller well they're not small but like the side awards that people don't care about as much typically like you know costume design and makeup design and stuff like that. Those were like the only ones I had seen and like I said I had seen the animated features. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, I don't know. It was just one of those years where, like, there are some movies I was like, oh, I want to see that, and then, like, my mom and sister saw... I wanted to see the movie about Lucille Ball, and they were like, it's not worth it. And then we talked about it more this weekend, and I was like, well, I'm not even going to bother watching that. Like, well, I don't really think Lucille Ball was the... She wasn't... She was, like, a pretty cold person. Like, iconic in the... Um, entertainment industry with like film or with television and um, you know she paved, paved a lot of paths and I've learned a lot about her in my communication classes in college and you know the historical element obviously but um, I'll, just uh, most of the movies I feel like that were represented just would not be anything that I would even be interested in anyway um, and the select few that I was interested in weren't, like, the ones that even took any sort of award. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I don't know how great they were then. Um, but yeah. I just don't even know, but... The problem with any music award show is that music is one of the most subjective things. It's the right, like... Music is even more subjective than movies, because there's, like... Not that there aren't a ton of genres of movies, too, but... I don't know. You can have a beef with one specific instrument. Like, personally, be like, I don't like the sound of this instrument, and that's, like, what this artist plays, so I automatically don't like them, or whatever. So it's like... I don't know. It's just so hard to... to gauge, and then it's just, like, a big display of, like... I don't know. People live in the... the with all the riches and gallantly and like that are so out of touch with like society that it's like this is what we're like celebrating this is just kind of weird i don't know i don't know how much i agree with that but okay but people should only be allowed to like music that i like obviously oh man I don't know. I probably probably the genre of music I listen to the most. This is so funny, but like it's probably like jazz music. Like that's probably the Ready? the genre of music I listen to the most. And like none of those people are ever gonna get like on those shows <laughs> because they're not pop. They're not on the Billboard Top 100. They're not like represented. Like you know what I mean. Like it's just so dumb. Okay, that was really easy for some reason. I don't know why I had such a good run of that. Put my best foot pedal to the metal, baby. Um, but yeah. I don't even know what is out there these days in terms of music either, Scott Man. Like, the pop stuff is easy to listen to because I've always enjoyed pop and... I don't like today's R&B as much as I like 2000s, like early 2000s R&B. But, oh, is this good? Oh, well, kind of. I'm like, I can go see Boo again. Um, yeah, like early 2000s R&B was my jam, but I was also like a teenager, so I was like listening to like all the popular music in addition to my own like music that I went out of my way to seek out. Um, but I just don't even know, like, I don't know. I, even that, it's not all of it, it's just some of it that I'm like, oh, that's okay, but... I don't know, so... I feel like it's kind of always like that, though. Like, the popular music of today is always... And this goes for any era. Like, any today. is like, you can't decipher one artist from another. It's, it all sounds like the same crap over and over again. That's not the stuff that stands out and lasts. It's just like, oh, that just gets you by for the moment, I guess. As a singer. Why am I getting all of the BS mini games? And why is nobody running after this coin bag? <laughs> that coin bag was over there most of the game. 
seriously. I don't know. Seven. I got the lowest. Okay, I'll roll. I'll roll because I did get the absolute lowest. And I got a four, which means I have to say no to a star. Luckily, I don't think there's one in my path. Luckily, there is not one in my path. Yeah, early 2000s music is just the best, but... Like, that's, that's just the best, always. I love the techno era. Like, the electronica era is probably my favorite. And they just- nobody makes music like that anymore. Nobody does. Um, I would say, you know, Lady Gaga incorporates some of that into her current music. But not all. I'm stealing my star back because you're a jerk. Um... I propose that we replace all existing music with the Paper Mario soundtrack. Okay, that sounds like a great idea. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do that. It'll be great. But yeah, music's so subjective. And I get that, like, new music comes out every year, and, like, these award shows are like, we'll pick all the pop artists that made us the most money and reward them for it, but, like, it's still bizarre. <laughs> Still- Oh my god! I just went against that rule, didn't I? I wasn't allowed to steal a star. Okay, Scott man, I screwed up. <laughs> I literally went- I immediately did what I was not supposed to do. Uh... <laughs> Okay, what- I'm just gonna- even when I- the next mini game I win, I'm gonna roll on anyway. I'll just say- or I could just say no to my next star. <laughs> say no to the next star. <laughs> I guess I could restart the turn. Should I say no to the next star or should I just restart the turn? Okay, I'll restart the turn because it's not gonna save until after this is done. Okay, I'm not gonna steal that star. I'm gonna <laughs> take away. <laughs> I literally already messed up. Okay, I'm gonna take away that star from myself. Restart the turn. Watch, I'll get like a one and then I won't even pass boo and it won't matter. That'd be so dumb. Okay, let's go. Continue adventure. Okay, I messed up. Man. Psycho! Oh my god! Psycho! Thank you so oh much! God. Oh, oh my gosh! Saying no to a star? Who do you think you are? Layla, <laughs> Madam 47 Cool. Madam 47 Cool, thank you so, so much, uh, Psycho. That's basically what I did. Okay, my bad. Like, oh no. Thank you so much for the 2,000 bits. That's so incredibly generous of you. Really appreciate that so, so much. Thank you, Psycho. You are too kind, always. Okay, I'm not gonna buy a star this time, you guys. I am not going to steal a star. I'm gonna say no. I am gonna steal... Am I allowed to steal... No, I am allowed to steal coins. But I'm not allowed to steal a star. I'll just steal... Who's closest to coming here? Well, I don't even have a star. Why do I care about this? I'm just gonna steal from Yoshi. Because he still has the most money. He still has the most money. This doesn't even cost me anything anyway. I don't know why I'm so worried about this. Oh, coins are- see, Scottman, uh, approves. Coins are- <laughs> So dumb! I can't believe I already messed up. I rolled a four and I'm like, I'll just buy a star anyway! Oh, man. Mm -mm. Seriously, though, Psycho, thank you so much for the bits. You are so incredibly generous. I really appreciate that so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, and this is my Wonka Doodle controller that does not work as well as an old controller in this minigame. So this is the only minigame where I have this problem. It's like too sensitive. Too sensitive. 
themselves and not do that again. <sighs> that might be too late. Dang it! I waited too long, you guys! Ah, oh, I had double treasure lined up. Come on, give me something good. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Oh no! I did not want to do that. I'm just going for first throw because this controller is so temperamental. Oh man! Oh, it didn't count that last chest. <laughs> wow, you may not be able to steal uh, stars, but you can steal hearts. Stolen heart. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I was so close to having 40 coins in that mini game. 40 coins, too greedy. Oh, Bowser. Oh, what? This game, it's like, let's just give him enough coins to steal Mario Star 2. <laughs> this game is being way too kind to DK. Who chose DK? Come on now. Oh, let's go! Plus block. Uh, okay, the star is over there. And somehow I messed this up last time. The blue door is down. I want the red door to be down. A plus block for you too? I felt so special and then the game was like, mm, we'll just have Mario get the same bonus as you. Did we not all choose DK in our hearts? No. <sighs> Well, listen, Yoshi, the, the perk of that is that you only lose 19, and you still get to buy a star. Also, hopefully the star goes the other direction so that I can still utilize the, um, red door. <laughs> um, so you guys, going back to the Oscars, I have to talk about this because you guys will enjoy this a little bit. Um... So, we were watching the red carpet, which is just... I love the- I love looking at people's outfits. I hate the people who, like, interview the- I just hate the interviewers because they're so, like, cheesy and annoying. And they all do the fake, over-the-top valley girl accent, and if you guys have been around for a long time as far as when it comes to my content, specifically my YouTube channel. Oh my god, that's not the right button! I'm pressing the start button instead of the B button! Okay, I messed up. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. I, did you see me, like, pounding the start button? I really didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'm gonna have to roll. Hold on. Let me roll first and then I'll continue. Okay, it's a six, but it also, like, flew off the table. I'm just gonna roll again. It's fine. It's a five. What is five again? I think five has some kind of, um... Eyes closed. Okay, I have to close my eyes. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, if you were around for my Paper Mario Let's Play, which was a very long time ago now, um, I... I did a lot of voiceovers for the care. What? This is so rigged! I did a lot of voiceovers for the characters. And for Peach in, for in particular, the, um, the inspiration for her voice came from all of these- Yes! This is where I needed it to go! Came from all of those MTV slash VH1 reality shows in the early 2000s. Early to late, uh, you know, anywhere from 2000 to 2010. The reality, like, show movement of that era. Early 2000s. Um, that's where her voice came from, was, like, the way that those girls would talk. Because most of them had, like, a valley girl accent, but then they were, like, super over the top with it. Um, 
And you know, a lot of, like, probably a lot of the people trying to get cast on those shows live in California or they had just moved to California or whatever. Yes! Um, and so I, that's, but it's just like something about that voice you can make it sound really dumb. And <laughs> it just sounds uneducated, like in, a, it just sounds like the big bimbo. Like it takes women back about, you know, a hundred years, but in my opinion. But anyway, like, the people on there, like, were seriously, like, Vanessa Hudgens was one of the, um, interviewers, and like, I love the Princess Switch movies. They're cheesy as crap, but I still love watching them for some reason. Um, but Vanessa Hudgens was on there, and she was like, it, I don't know if she'd had a little bit to drink, or she was just really trying hard. I don't know, but... She was on there, and the way she was talking, she's like, Oh my god, I'm so lucky to be here because this is the place to be, and I am just amazed. Like, everything she said took about 10 seconds longer than the average person would take to say it, and was like, it was it, like back of the throat, like, the same voice I did for Paige. Like, everything she said was like that. And I was like, what is wrong with her? <laughs> so, we go to like have dinner, and my mom had made like wedge salads for each of us. And she like, she cut it to where one was. <laughs> not even gonna be like funny to you guys but it was really funny to us for some reason she <laughs> we had just watched Vanessa Hudgens act really weird and she cut the salads up and one was way bigger than the others and she, all she said was like <laughs> she's just like Oh, this is a big one. And my sister just like bursts into the kitchen and is like, this is a big one. And like, <laughs> we could not stop saying it for the rest of the night. Like, everything we said or like everything they said on the Oscars, we would imitate in that horrible, like, really ridiculous Vanessa Hudgens style voice. Um, which was essentially just my peach voice. So it took me back. <laughs> it took me back. <laughs> she said something else later, like she <laughs> she messed it up. She tried to say like Lady Gaga. And she's like, a oh, lady gaga and like messed up. Like, I don't know what she was starting to say, but she did not get out the second gaga. It was just Lady Gaga. And I'm like, that's not it. <laughs> It was so stupid, you guys. So dumb. Um. Okay, sorry. We're gonna close our eyes for the next mini game. I just I was too into that story, and Box Not Mayhem is just dumb anyway. So we're gonna close our eyes for this mini game. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, no. I don't wanna. Oh my god. If I have to close my eyes. I'm just losing all my money if I do this. Okay, I'm just gonna run away the whole time. I'm not holding my controller upside down. No! I'm just gonna keep jumping. Okay, I know that I lost like five. I may be losing these singles and not know it. I have no idea. This minigame is way too long. It should only be 30 seconds, and it's like 60. Ten. Oh my god, this is such a bad minigame to close my eyes on. I should have closed them on Box Mountain Mayhem! Fifteen. I probably lost like 30 coins. If all those singles were me, I probably lost like 20 something. This game would be too long if it lasted literally one second. Okay, 20. So, a lot of those singles were me. That's really disappointing. I hate that minigame. 
<clears throat> yeah, Lady Ga. It, it wasn't even just Ga. It, there was like a Y in front of it. Like, yeah. <laughs> also, what the heck? The only thing I tweeted the whole night was freaking Kelly Slater was there. When has Kelly Slater ever been at the Oscars? Never. But he was there yesterday. I'm like, Kelly Slater goes is at the freaking Oscars, but he can't stop by for two seconds to like say congrats at the stacked game marathon where we literally hit our goal during his game. Kelly, where are your priorities? What the heck? You'll represent a popularity contest, but not like a charity event. I unfollowed him on Instagram. It's fine. But <laughs> Yeah, later, Slater. <laughs> Why? Why do you want all my stars? I did. I unfollowed him on everything. Because I was like, that's just, like, you go out of your way to, first of all, shout out all of these. He does a lot of, like, shock value posts, which I don't appreciate, honestly, as somebody who is an animal activist. I get that, like, putting the really terrible stuff out there for just anybody and everybody to see like, gets a point across, but it's also very, like, um, it's just a very, like, it seems like you're doing it for shock value and not for the actual, like, cause and issue. Like, you're not giving anybody a, a way to help or, like, to say, like, please donate to this organization or, like, this is what this organization is do triggering. That's the word. Um, it's very triggering. Like, it, it just triggers emotions and makes you, like, extremely upset or extremely bothered without a way to like do anything like you feel very helpless like this animal has suffered horribly and I can't do anything and I have no idea how to help that's what it makes you feel like and he does that all the time um so I already had him like muted but like I just unfollowed him because I was like I feel like you use all this like you use your platform in a way to like put these like really triggering crazy posts out but then you don't like post how to like do anything about it why do you have five stars go get wrecked um right it just makes people depressed and scared instead of calling them to action like that is not the way to get stuff done like i get that it has its time and place and it is effective in some ways but that's not you you have to follow it up with something you can't just leave it at that um Kelly Slater, if, by the way, if you don't know who he is, he's a very famous surfer. Um, and my sister played Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer, um, a surfing game on the PS2 and the GameCube. Her, the version we grew up with was on the PS2, but she played it for the Stack Game Marathon, which was a charity marathon. <clears throat> a charity marathon that my fiancé Odin Stack put together um, last year. And there's going to be another one this year, but we don't have a date yet because of the whole wedding and all that. But anyway, she played it during the very first event, Stack Game Marathon event, and she we hit the goal during it. So we were, like, trying to, like, tweet to get, like, him to retweet it or something. Because it wasn't a small feat. Like, it wasn't. We had, like, a $10,000 goal that was reached during that. And it was for, like, Breast Cancer, um, Breast Cancer Foundation. So... Yay, Yoshi, good job. I don't know, we just wanted something, and not that we're, like, expecting people to do this, but it just seemed really odd that he wouldn't, because, like, I know other people that, like, are big names that would, like, say something to, like, charity. But then, apparently, like, um, the last stat game marathon we did, which was, um, in partnership with Stream for a Cause, that was the organization, the person who, the creator of that, who has stopped in here every once in a while, he's a fellow streamer, he's an awesome person, Zombie Juice. He tried to get in contact with, like, his uh, publicist just to see if we could, like, you know, have something happen. And apparently he charges $50,000 for any sort of appearance. So, I guess 10000 wasn't good enough for him. I don't know. I was, I'm just, like, very put off. So I'm like, okay, unfollow <laughs> Wolf Kaminari, I think you're right. Also, welcome on in. I think today is the anniversary of the very first SGM. I think it is. Um, let me see. I have, like, written down in here. 
that, those are my St. Jude notes. What the heck, where's my, here we go. Yeah, Friday, March 26th through Sunday, March 28th was the first SGM. So this is the anniversary of the final day. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh, how fast does a year fly by? Oh my gosh. I went through on, like, both my social media and, like, unfollowed all these things that, like, were irrelevant or just... You know, the things that I just, like, don't need to be wasting energy on. Or people that I don't need to be, like, following still that's, like, completely irrelevant. Like, not really anybody from the game community, but it's, like, connections I had in the past that it's, like, what? I haven't talked to this person in, like, ten years. Like, do I need to know their every move? No. Um, I still need to go through, like, Twitter and even clean out more of that, because there's some stuff on there, like, some companies and stuff that I'm like, why am I following this? Like, I don't need to. I'm just in that, you know, I've been in that part of my life for a year, a couple years now where I'm just, like, trying to remove toxicity and toxic, anything that just does not serve me. Not even just toxic. Not everything has to be toxic necessarily, but just anything that just does not serve me in any way that is like positive or helpful to my life. It's just, or takes away or makes me feel bad. I'm just not there for it anymore. I'm just like, mm, no. Um, I, okay, so I don't know what's going on with the St. Jude campaign this year because that's gonna be right when, like, Odin's back will probably be moving in with me and we'll be getting ready for our wedding if everything goes according to plan. So I don't know how big of a campaign I'm going to have if I am even able to, like, commit to the campaign at all. Which I want to, I just don't know that it's gonna be as big as previous years because I don't know what that's gonna be like. So I haven't really- I'm- it's to the point where I need to start thinking about it. Basically, April is when, like, the sign-ups start, I think. And I think it begins at the end of April. So I don't know yet. I'm still working it out. And I still want... No, I did not want to do this. Okay, I just pressed A. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> I guess I just blocked them from the star, though. Maybe that's good. Um, wait, What? Oh my god, it wasn't good! How stupid am I? Um... Oh my god, I'm so pissed off now. I don't know what my plan is yet. Um... Next month I'm gonna try and figure it out. Even if it's just like a, a short campaign, though, I wanna do something. Even if it's just a short, like, week-long thing instead of the entire month. Because I don't want to say, oh, it's the entire month, and then, like, I end up, like, not doing a stream on one specific weekend because that's when Odin is coming here, and I'm- or anything like that. Like, I just don't know. So, I'll figure it out, though, and I'll keep you guys in the loop. I just haven't- I haven't done a lot of, um, research with that because the information hasn't been available yet, and I don't think they really, um, say much until April. So. Anyway. Uh, also, welcome back, Big Odie! How's it going? We were just talking about how today is the one-year anniversary of the last day of SGM1. Which is crazy. So crazy. Oh, I love Buried Treasure. I can't believe I just paid 20 coins for nothing to give Mario a star, basically. I know, that's why I was like, how fast does a year go? Okay, straight line method, and I almost missed it, but I got there. Finish. I did get there, you guys. Okay. <laughs> oh. What was my, let me see what my schedule was for that Sunday, because I wrote down all my stuff that I did at SGM1. Oh, sorry. Um, hold on. Here we go. So, from 12 to 4, oh, I would, I would be, um, moderating right now. I'd be modding for the next 20 minutes if this were last year. This day last year. Oh, sweet! Okay, maybe that was good then. Maybe I did help myself by spending 20 coins. 
Um, yeah, so literally yesterday was the anniversary of when my sister hit that, um, hit, or, well, my sister didn't hit it. You, the, those who donated hit the goal. But she was in the middle of her Kelly Slater run. One year later, Kelly Slater's freaking at the Oscars. What the heck? Dumb. But that was all empty. She just, you know, casually hit the goal. <laughs> now, Rip Mario 35 doesn't even exist anymore. So weird. I don't know why Nintendo makes really bizarre choices. Speaking of Nintendo, I like to shout this out whenever, uh, whenever I can for you guys, just in case you haven't been following it. Um, I check the My Nin Nintendo Rewards store quite a bit, and right now there are two um, N64 keychains available. They're like N64 cartridge keychains. They're actually really cute. Star. Each one is a set of two. Okay, mine was the first pipe, so I'm losing this. But um, one comes with Mario Kart 64 and Star Fox 64, and the other one comes with Super Mario 64, and I think... It might be what's it might be Ocarina of Time maybe? I don't know. But they have like keychains available that are pretty cute if you're interested. Their shipping did go up though. So that's kind of annoying, but okay, I rolled wait, what did I roll? I don't even know what I rolled because I just Okay, hold on, I'm rolling again. A three. Okay. I'm like I I rolled it and then I picked it up without looking at it. <laughs> Okay, upside down controller. Okay. Um. What? Giving us a ba? Let's go! Oh, graduation audit for Lauren and you tomorrow. Lauren and Tim, let's go! Ocarina of Time and Mario 64. Okay. I wanted to. If they have like. I have this really cute like necklace that I bought that is a cartridge of Mario Party 1. And it's honestly cuter than what than what's available on there right now, but at the same time, like if they come out with a Mario Party version, I'll probably get it. Or Paper Mario. I would get the Mario Kart one, but I don't care about Star Fox, so I'm like, I kinda if I'm gonna buy one, I wanna get one that has two games that I like love in it. And I've never played Ocarina of Time or Mario 64, so that just seems kinda silly to get that one. Aw, oh, you guys just missed it. Sucks to suck. <laughs> um. Yeah. <sighs> okay, what am I doing? I need to... I'm just gonna steal from DK again. Well, Yoshi's right there and heal. He's probably gonna steal from me no matter what, so I'll just steal from DK. I'll get more coins later. It's fine. Um... Are there any good ones? What are you talking about, Odie? Um, or I guess Wolf. What are you guys talking about? I missed it. I missed whatever it was. Um, K-Bomb! How's it going? I've never played through Mario 64 on my own. I've seen various Let's Plays. I've seen a lot of Let's Plays and streams of it. And it was a game that my cousins had, and every Christmas, like, we would just play around on their, like, beaten file, but I've never, like, played it and beaten it myself. Um. But yeah. I... The Mario going into the Goomba is pretty funny. What? Also, Mega Freak 400, how's it going? Oh, what? Okay. Upside down controller? I can do this. I mean, this is a Bowser game, but this is the same no matter what you do. Making a veggie burger? Ooh, that sounds good. <clears throat> I actually ate lunch before the stream, so I was smart today, and I had enough time before the stream to get food. Or to make food. I made a classic PB&J lunch. Which I've had for lunch like several days in a row now. But. Have I played Mario uh, 64DS? I actually did own Mario 64DS at one point. 
but it was when I had pneumonia really bad, and it, I just have really bad memories of playing it because I was, like, losing consciousness while playing it, and it just brings back really weird memories, so I'm just gonna stay away from that one. Oh my god! Upside down again? This is the same exact thing! Why do we have to do this two times in a row? The game should not be designed to pick this twice in a row. Dumb. Oh my god. What? No, Mega, I did not see the Kingdom Hearts Tamagotchis! Oh my god, Tamagotchis I am obsessed with. I love them so much. And next time I go to Disney World and I rep my turning red outfit, I'm gonna have my pink Tamagotchi with me. Um... Listen, Armand, the trick is to use the weapon right here. Except my skin is dry, so that's not helpful, but right here is where I put my controller. And this Joy-Con on my modded controller is like a GameCube Joy-Con. This joystick is like a GameCube joystick, so it has a lot more padding and it's a lot more rubbery. So it's not nearly as cringy. Also, I'm doing pretty good at these mini games. I haven't had to roll much. There. I always press the wrong button, see what I'm supposed to do. Going this way. It is, it's, yeah, Phantom was saying that earlier, <clears throat> that today is the 20 year anniversary of Kingdom Hearts. And I was like, dang, it released a lot sooner in Japan than it did in North America. Kingdom Hearts. Tamagotchi. Look at that. Oh my gosh, hold on. Yeah! What? Oh my god, those are sick! No, I'm not gonna disable ad blocker for you. What the heck? Um. How cute! Oh my god, these are so adorable! Debuting in Japan in October. Oh my god, I can't wait for these to come here. Oh my god, that's so cute. You can get any of them. You can get- it looks like you can get Sora, Kairi, Riku, Goofy, or Donald. Oh my gosh, I have Mario to get- Jesus. I have to get I'm one of these. Mario Jesus. Stupid game. Oh. I know, I'm cheating at web browsing. I'm sorry, Psycho. I watch the ads of the YouTubers that I really like, and I do watch ads on my streamers, don't you worry, but I do block ads on every other annoying website. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know, Dream Knight. Am I a fan of Kingdom Hearts? Am I? You tell me. <laughs> you tell me. Because I can't tell. <laughs> oh, treasure. Oh, wait, treasure divers. We haven't played this yet. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Do the same thing I did before, where if I get the lowest amount of coins, it's considered, like, losing. Okay, I did not hit the shark. What? I don't want this little piece of crap. Give me this chest that Mario has. Oh my god, stupid Mario's son. I did not mean to pick up that tiny little piece of crap. Okay. I don't know if I got the most. Um... Wait, did, what did I get? Did I get the most? I don't know if I got the most or not. Do I need to roll? Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna... I got the most? Okay, well then I'm gonna save my roll. So I was like, I don't think I did badly. 
And look at him being smart, stealing Mario's coins because he has more than me. Okay. Um. It does sound like a start of a joke. So a Squaresoft developer and a Disney developer walk into an elevator. Oh my gosh. I keep saying, we've talked about this many times, I just want a, like, Kingdom Hearts style game that's all Ghibli. That would be fabulous. Yes. T.J. Bomber, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back to the Bob family, thank you so much for your support. Giving you all the boss. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to the stream. So you guys, um, speaking of fun stuff, because I was saying, like, I gotta rep my Tamagotchi next time I go to Disney World, because I'll be repping a hot, turning red outfit, but, um, you know, because the movie's so new, there's not tons and tons of merch out there yet, but everything that I'm seeing is so adorable, or things that have been announced. Like, my sister was telling me last night, she's like, oh, did you see the Loungefly backpack that's, like, up for pre-order on some sites right now, and it's of, like, Panda May, and there's a really cute wallet that goes with it, and I'm like, oh my god, I need it. Finish. I need it! Um. Dang! I never do the best at that! Ooh, I am... Or Pro. This isn't Mario 3 though, so that doesn't really make sense, but you know what I'm going for. Pee-wing level of awesome. Um, anyway. Uh, Box Lunch has had some really cute stuff, and I've actually managed to get some of it, and I had to get- <laughs> I watched, like, several things online, and I was like, hey- uh, if anybody wants to get this for me as a gift, here it is. Um, is this, where am I going? Where's the star now? I don't even know, I don't even know where it is. But, um, yeah, I, everything I wanted, like, sold out on the website. But luckily I was able to get the shirt I really wanted in store. And it's super cute, I'll have to show it to you guys. Or I'll wear it on stream at some point, I'm sure, but. <gasps> Your stomach is trying to murder you, psycho, go eat food! Time to eat food. You have to get going for the day, Scott Man. Thank you so much for the challenge. I really appreciate it. You have a wonderful rest of your day, and thank you so much for um, being such a for being so kind and uh, such a wonderful member of my Patreon family. I really appreciate it. We are at well, I would check the turn count, but I can't on this menu. I think we're getting near the last ten turns, though. So. There are still some numbers we haven't seen. Like, I don't think I've rolled a one or a two yet. So, thank you, Scott Man. You have a wonderful rest of your day, though. Seriously. Yes, the May wallet! Isn't that so adorable? I don't have, like... I have, like, a big wallet that I just got for Christmas, so I've never used it yet. And other than that, I just have, like, little zip... Purses. Like, I don't even have, like, an actual, like, small, like, cute little wallet. So I'm like, okay, I gotta get that. I am a... I don't know, mini backpacks are, like, my weakness, too. Like, they're just so cute. Like, something about the shape and everything, like, I love them. And... It's like, I wish I had more excuses to use them more often than I do, but, like... When I do have an excuse, I use them all the time, but... They're just so cute. Also, v Booey, welcome to the stream. Um, I've always liked Pedal Power. It's just like, I don't know, I think the concept is really funny. It doesn't bother- the stick spinning minigames never bothered me that much. I mean, yes, they are kind of annoying, but um, that's not one that, like, really bothers me. Pedal Power is one of the- for me, at least, is one of the less um, rigorous. Also, I'm gonna try and not press the start button this time. <laughs> this last time I majorly screwed up. Sorry, guys. Ready? Go. I did get five, though. I can't wait to um, play more Kirby this weekend. The game is so good, you guys. I'm not gonna say anything else about it because I don't wanna spoil it for anybody or like have anybody accidentally like 
you know, say spoilery stuff. Not that you really can for her. I don't know what you would say that would be that crazy, but uh, I can't wait to play more of it. And I did get to a good point. I played a little bit off stream yesterday just to get to a point where, like, when I stream it again, we'll all see something new. So I didn't, like, spoil it for myself. Um, but I'm so excited! It's so cute! Um, finish cleaning your room on Saturday, finish cleaning your bathroom on Sunday. Everything's so clean. That's such a good feeling. Oh my gosh. I did that last week after I had been so sick. I had, like, a full-on, like, cleaning marathon because... Not that I was, like, sick in a contagious way. I mean, it was, like, a sinus infection and, like, a tissue infection, which cannot be passed to anybody. Um, that's not something I can, like, pass to other people, but I just, like, I just felt gross, you know? So it felt so good to finally, like, clean and have my living space, like, clean and tidy. I mean, it was just one of those things, too, where, like, when you don't feel good, you don't put things away. You don't waste time with, like, little things. Like, you just do not feel like anything. So it just felt like there was a, an explosion of crap all over the place, too. Like, you know, little papers and um, weird, like, you know, just stuff everywhere that hadn't been put away from, like, going to the doctor and having to get this done. And uh, it's just annoying. So it's a great feeling. <laughs> Mario Gamerable, I still have not played Legends. That's on my... Two playlists because every time I've tried to play it, something has happened where I have not been able to play it. So I'm just, it's just on hold probably until after Kirby's done now. So I'm not in any rush. Still avoiding spoilers and all that, but it's just one of those things where it just fell on the back burner on accident and it's just gonna have to stay there for a while. But G Mario, welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. And yes, for anybody who walked in later is wondering, we're doing a roll the dice challenge, which means every minigame I lose, I have to roll the dice. And then depending on what I roll, will determine my fate of what challenge I have to do for that next turn. But I've been on a roll of winning. <laughs> been on a winning streak for like the past five turns, so we'll see. Um... Bye, Dream Knight. Have a great rest of your afternoon. What? Did I lose? Did I lose, um... Did I lose Skateboard Scamper? If I did, I'll roll for it, because I definitely did not roll for it last time. I wasn't paying attention. Did I lose Skateboard Scamper and just not realize it? By the way, we're at, like, the last... Yoshi won? Okay, I'm gonna roll. I'm sorry. I missed it. I rolled a one. Which is the undies hype. Which brings me to... I'm gonna talk about, um... I'm gonna hype me undies, because you guys know that I love to talk about underwear, obviously. And I've been trying to get a sponsorship with me undies. That's something I'm working towards, but... Um, speaking of which, though, me undies has, uh just today released two different Star Wars patterns. And I was like, what? I was gonna get Catwoman next month. Now what do I do? Um, but yeah, if you need underwear, check out my undies. It's like a subscription where you get one pair. I mean, you can get more than one pair if you want, but it's like one pair every single month um, for a discounted price than what they normally are. I won't lie to you guys. It's not like... It's affordable, but it's not, like, super cheap. It really isn't. It's, uh... Because they just upped the price a little bit, too. So it is, like, $14 a pair. But, um... I think it's pretty nice because it's spaced out monthly and it's, like, something to look forward to. And now I have to drum. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway... Yeah, they have, like, so many cute prints. I've gotten glow-in-the-dark underwear from them. Didn't even know they were glow-in-the-dark. So that was a fun surprise. Finish. And the drummer is the MVP. So yeah, check out me undies. If you want underwear. Because we all need it. Nobody wants to go commando! 
Um, drumming wins. What is this, Kaz? Sorry, I was just like dancing. I wasn't even like connecting at first, but that was Bobo. It's Thank big you so payday much. time. Enjoy. Oh my gosh, Cass! Oh, thank you so much! That's so kind of you! Gosh, okay, hold on. I gotta give you all the Barney Bubbles, because he's kind of like Bobo, except purple. All the uh, all the Madam Five Pogs! Let me give you some fun ones. Let me give you... Uh, why aren't these loading? I'm gonna give you some Pugs, some Dolphins, some uh, Squirtles at home, and some hype disguise. Thank you so much, Cass, for the $14.36 36 cent donation, rounding us up to an even 160 for the retro slash game chasing fund. I know it just says game chasing fund on there, but it's pretty much for all retro games. Um, thank you so much. That is so kind of you. I really appreciate it. Monthly boxes really are so much fun to have something to look forward to. You used to get the, the snack box. Oh, that's so cool. I've heard of that one. I've heard of the one that has like the snacks from all the different countries. I have done, when it comes to like subscription boxes, I did Ipsy for a, a long time, for several years, which was a cosmetic subscription where you'd get like a little makeup bag with like five sample and sometimes full size makeup, um, different pieces of makeup. I loved that. I did that for years and I got to the point where I had so much makeup that I was like, I do not need to do this anymore. And I was like giving some away to my family and I mean, I, it really did give me a lot of makeup in stock for such a long time too. Um, which now that I think this is cleared up, I can finally start to wear like eye makeup and stuff again. I couldn't wear it for a long time because of like the irritation with the weird illness that I had in my eye, but, um, but anyway, I've done that one. I was once sent a kawaii box. That's a really cute one of like a bunch of like Japanese, cute Japanese stuff. Um, I'll do like plushies and sometimes snacks and stationery and stuff like that. I did one of those, um, for my YouTube channel years ago. I don't know, I just, I, subscription boxes are a lot of fun. It's always fun to have something to look forward to. That's why, like, even though, like, me undies is underwear, it's like, it's something you're gonna use, at least. Something you're gonna need, like, so, it's fun. And you can get, like, fun patterns and stuff, so I think it's worth it to do at least something like that for yourself every month. Or some, some places have, like, quarterly, which is funny, or w funny, which is fun, too. Um, welcome to the stream, Arsty Girl, and thank you so much for the follow. Um, okay, we won bombs away, so we're good. I don't know where the star is. Is it up in the, like, um... What's it called? The happening space path? Oh my god. Like this. Well, it's not me. Why am I complaining? I don't like this game in general. It doesn't even matter. Seahawks fan, welcome to the stream. This, this is like the dumbest version of this, though, because it's for Bowser. It doesn't even do anything. But he has way too many coins, so... At least I want to try and get him just so he can't steal more stars. Because he's definitely getting the coin star, too, at this rate. I don't think anybody else has had 120 star coins. These bop hammers don't work half the time. Finish. Okay, well he's under 100 now. Stuff like Loot Crate, it, right, those are always like, um, they're fun, but it's like a waste if you don't like whatever is in it. Like, if you're not a fan of certain things, I guess you could re-gift. Oh my god, why? I guess you could re-gift, but it is kind of disappointing when it's like you can't choose, like, preferences of, like, I don't want anything of this, uh, character or whatever, so... Anyway, that's why I've always done, like, subscriptions, like, the makeup, where I know I'm gonna wear makeup, I know I'm gonna use the makeup. Um, and you can 
customize it quite a bit. Oh, I thought he stole a star for a second. Oh, wait, no, he didn't have enough money. I was looking at Yoshi's coin count. Um, and then, like, that's why I, I do MeUndies now, because... You know, I did my spring cleaning, I cleaned up my closet and all my clothes and everything, and that was something I needed. And I was like, oh, well, that'd be fun to do that. Um, and just get, like, a cute pair. And they are really, really comfortable. I know I'm still talking about this. <laughs> it's, to, it's like, oh, I talked about it for, like, three turns, but I'm serious. Like, even if you don't do something like that, like, it's just fun to do, like, a subscription box or something. Okay, we haven't seen this one yet. We've actually gotten a pretty good mix today. I mean, some of the ones we've seen repeats of aren't my favorite, but whatever. It's fine. I did not get it. This is not good. Unless he drops it, which sometimes they do. God, hurry up. He's not gonna drop it. The ones that are lowest have the most coins in them. It is really annoying when the CPUs, like, go for your side for some reason. Yeah, they're definitely gonna get more than us. All because I somehow missed that very first chest, and I don't even know how. Okay, I got a three again. Three, I think, was blindfold? Or close, close your eyes? I don't know. Upside down? Upside down, okay. Yeah, because I did tug of war upside down twice. Um. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'm gonna look at the map this time and see where the star is before I do anything. It is on that little path. Isn't somebody over there? No. I guess whoever was over there did not have enough money or something? I don't know. I have no idea what happened. Um, Drip Looney, you're gonna head out. We'll have a great rest of your day. And Hip Critical Joker, welcome to the stream. right there, meaning he is going to steal. But, if I do this, he'll just... Well, actually, I'll have 44, so in theory he should steal from Mario, but... Who knows? Uh, he'll st if he decides to steal from me, I, then I don't know what to say. They don't think I'm... I'll have, what, 47 by the time if I land on a blue space? Oh no, I won't! I'll have 57! Crap! I'll have one coin too many! Oh, uh, okay. Well, he'll have more after this. Oh my god, please win this so you have more coins than me. Please win this. But I don't trust him. I do not trust him. Is that a donut in the Etsy window? It is! That is my cotton candy donut pillow that I crocheted. It's currently available in my Etsy store if you're interested. Um, thanks for pointing it out though, Cass. And there's the link to my Etsy store if anybody's interested in that. And also, yo, yo, Yoshi95, welcome to the stream. Okay, he won. Good. He's ahead of me. Don't steal from me. Do not steal from me. <sighs> Steal from me. Alright, four player, my controller's upside down, I'm ready to go. Okay, this is not a- this is- okay, so B is right, A is left. B is right. I'm gonna mess this up, there's no way. Uh, no, I messed it up. I'm sorry. I tried. I was like left, 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 right, left, right. And I messed up. I'm sorry. Trinity Love Ball, welcome to the stream. 
Um, yes, yo, yo, we were talking about the freaking Kelly Slater debacle earlier in the stream because Kelly Slater is at the freaking Oscars, but he can't take five minutes out of his day to stop by SGM. And turns out he charges $50,000 just to make an appearance. So guess that's not happening. He's not very charitable like we were hoping. Or not as charitable as, as we thought, which is disappointing. He didn't even like any of the tweets. He didn't even give it a like. That's just sad. Respect lost. <laughs> I know. Shaggy says it's tough in general. Especially even if, even if you have the directions. <gasps> oh my god, switch with DK! No! That is not who I wanted... And now I have. Do I have to lose this? No. Oh my god. Am I gonna have more coins than Mario, though? Oh, you'll pay him? Okay, Mega. Just go casually pay him that $50,000. So they must have paid him at least $50,000 to make an appearance at the Oscars. an amount of money I do not have. I feel like I lost this. I don't think I'm, look, I blinked. This is probably wrong. Although I'm really not that upset because I don't want to have more coins than Mario, so it's fine. It's fine. Uh. Yeah, oh what, punishment? How rude, how could you? Yeah, if I would've won that, I'd have like the same amount of coins and then it would be, Oh, no, no, no. Do not do this to me. He has to have more coins than me. This game is like desperate for him to have more. Okay, thank you. I'm like, I'm so tired of this game trying to beat me down. Mm-mm. Unacceptable. Okay, after this, I have like six turns to turn it around. Ridiculous. And of course this is something we either all win or all lose. Ready? Although technically oh. you can lose it if you just don't make it to the end and everybody else does. But this doesn't affect anything if everybody wins. We're just in the exact same spot we are now with 10 extra points each. DK. You know, at least um, Mario is proving to have pretty good teamwork. Oh, I have no idea how that missed him. It circled around him and I was trying to punch it and I could not get it for the life of me. Okay, well that was clutch. Finish. That was a clutch win because I didn't really deserve to or, I mean, I don't know how I avoided the weirdness. Okay, he has 73. He has more coins than me. DK, do not steal from me. You have to steal from him. You have to steal from him. Steal from him. Come on. Mario. Yes! Okay, plan. The plan was... It happened. Now, I am going to be the official target, though. So that's good. Or great. Very exciting. And he's gonna get 20 coins, of course. 30! 20th person! No way. 30 coins? I didn't even see somebody get the 20 person bonus. Can I ever go anywhere? Okay, I guess I'm going back to Boo before Yoshi, which actually helps me out because he has a lot of money to steal. And I'm not about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Actually, everybody can steal a star. Okay. Uh, Yoshi's definitely in the lead for the coin star now. And it's this again. Great. Look 
at us. All three of us got a coin bag. You take your single coin, TK. Oh look, you just gave those five to Mario for some reason. Finish! No, she punched me for his coin. This game went from assess the threat to everyone is the threat <laughs> real quick. It's true! Because everybody has too much money. That's the problem. Alright. Um. Okay, well, I'm in first at the moment, but anything can happen in this last five turns. Why? Every time DK's there, Koopa's like, oh, DK's gonna. No. No. He doesn't need more confidence. Right, Jilly? Jilly D. She's just poked her head out of the tunnel like, what's going on out here? And then went right back in. So tomorrow, you guys, we are playing more of Bowser's Fury, and that's another game that I just started last week, and I spent the first half, I would say, of that stream. Um, I, I spent the first half of that stream just trying to play all the way through uh, Star World of Super Mario... Er, Super Mario 3D World. Because I did not anticipate how difficult the Star World would be, like the later levels would be. They were pretty challenging at, at times. And I know how challenging the special world can be because I saw, I watched um, Odin and Odin's back and Slim Kirby play that a few weeks ago. And so I was like, we're just gonna not worry about that. But, but anyway, if you missed um, the first stream of Bowser's Fury. You can catch it on YouTube. It is there now. Probably about halfway into that stream is when it starts. Finish. So, just so you know. <laughs> Apparently Monday must be National Limbo Dance Day, I guess. For us it is, anyway. Uh, yeah, Champion Throat is not for the faint of heart. Definitely. Not from what I saw. I was like, yeah, I, that does not seem fun to me. I am not doing that. And if you missed, like, my- the very beginning of my stream, I just did some, like, just chatting announcements and stuff, and I am working on, um, putting together a giveaway for whenever I reach, um, 200 subs, and then I'm also working on, um, some new merchandise for my Etsy store as well. For my Etsy store. Whoever loses this loses 40! 90 points or less. Okay, this is not the kind of thing I worry about because this is my favorite minigame. Star! Okay. You gotta pull down the face. Oh, no, 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 no. Why did I do that? I messed up. I didn't mean to pull it in at all. My finger slipped. I messed up. Okay, 93 is good enough, but I I immediately messed it up when I went the wrong way. Mario Gamerable, have a wonderful rest of your Monday as well. Thank you so much for being part of the stream. This does help us a little bit because I need them to not have as much money. Um, so I'm all about that. Right, Julie? Hi, Julie. <laughs> She's giving me very sleepy looks right now. Very sleepy. This is such a fun song, by the way. I don't know. Okay. Here's where it all goes down, you guys. I'm not confident. Why Mario? Why these two? Okay, I don't know why he tried to do this. Usually the AI is smarter. I guess not in this case, I don't know. <laughs> it fits my green man quite nicely. I do like this song a lot. I like this board song, it's very cute. Oh crap, who's the one? But why? I don't- exactly, we need the but why sticker. 
because that didn't really make a whole lot of sense. Did it, Chili? He's like, mm, I'm not gonna comment. I'm too cool for that. No, this is my single coin! Oh, what? What? Stealing all my money! This is so dumb. If I got the- I probably did get the lowest amount. I'll roll if I did. Just because we don't have that many turns left. I'm trying to get DK, Odie, and it's not working. Three! Okay, Yoshi also got three, but we tied for last, so I'll roll. And I got a four, so I have to say no to all stars on this turn. If we don't ever roll a two, then I will... Well, actually, I can't do a two on the last turn, because that's CPU uh, Wario. Second to last turn, I'll do CPU Wario, if we don't roll it before then. Oh, Big Xenonia! Welcome to the stream! I talked earlier about how our PAX East plans combusted when we got news of the big old wedding day, so, um, okay, uh, what? Okay, I don't know if I like this either. Oh, you're at the gym? Oh, party at the gym. Getting that workout in. Yeah, so I said that I've just put the funds aside to save for the next convention, whatever that may be. This is literally not the game I was wanting, no. Um, Kabumek, we do, but everything has to work out just so. Um, so it's like, it's, it's like we do, but I can't get excited, we can't really get excited for it yet, because we have to wait until our exit interview date passes for our visa, and before that, we have to make sure that Odie is literally waiting on one piece of material from the government that they have not given him yet. They told him it would take four to six weeks, and it's been over six with nothing. So it's like, Finish. classic government, thanks a lot. Um, so if he doesn't get that, then we're gonna have to move our exit interview date, and... That will, yet again, push back our wedding, so... It's too soon to get that excited about it, but... We're, we're trying, you know, we're staying as hopeful as we possibly can and praying about it literally every single night and just having faith that that'll work out. Because, good God, it's been so long, please work out. Okay, I definitely lost that minigame. And that was a... Oh, it's a six, so I get off the hook. Sweet. Once this interview happens, then I'll feel confident on the date. But it, yeah, just even until then, like... It's just so hard to get excited, but it's just because we if we do have to push the date back, it could literally get pushed back to, like, who knows, the week of PAX East or something. It's just not smart to, um, to book anything. Okay, I'm stealing because I have one turn, probably, or well, this is the last time I'm going to see Boo, probably. Oh my god, I don't even know. Mario can buy that star and then immediately steal one. This is such a waste, but whatever. Um. But yeah, it is extremely complicated to marry someone from another country. As opposed to marrying someone from your own country, yes. It's... It's more complicated than anybody will ever know who doesn't marry somebody from out of the country. Okay, well that was good. At least I got some money. Um... Oh sweet! This song is perfect for your elliptical speed! Well that's... <laughs> that's the good news. I'm just gonna go this way. I haven't gone this way like at all. Um... Yeah. You can- if- if Odie- yeah! I could literally meet somebody off the street today and, in this- in the U.S. and go to the courthouse and get married tomorrow if I wanted to. That's why people literally, like, get drunk and get married in Vegas, but I can't marry somebody that I've been with for over five years 
without going through every bit of intrusive legal crap that you could possibly imagine and beyond. And beyond. Okay. <clears throat> so next turn is the last turn. So if I lose this last mini game, okay. Or next turn's not the last turn, it's the second to last turn, which is the one I'm gonna have to do the CPU challenge for because if I do it on the last turn, I just will not get to look at anything because I'll be a computer. Okay, bobsled run. So win or lose, we'll do number two. Ready? Go! Meaning we'll go poopy! No, I'm kidding. We're not gonna poop. But we are going to scoop later. Already scoop poop once today. Big excite. Anyway, the life of having a cat. Scoop and poop. And they choose, like, you know, the moment that you get food or something will be the moment that they go in there and poop. I don't know what, why. It's just really annoying. The timing is off. I really don't want to give DK more coins. I don't want to give him anything. Because he's an irritating ape. Who I do not like. Go! Go! Alright, well we won, so I'll go ahead and do a, an honorary two uh, for you guys, which the two, rolling a two during the dice challenge um, <clears throat> means I turn Wario into a CPU and we never saw that. So I'll go ahead and honor that now because we know that I forgot and did weird things anyway. So this is going to be my punishment. So I'll be a CPU. Whoops. For this turn. Why am I going to... Oh. And I'll be set the same as everybody else so that way I don't have a disadvantage. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> We will see what happens. Ten? I never roll a ten when it's just me. Don't do it. Okay, good. <clears throat> I was like, you do not need to waste your money on this, Wario. Alright, well nothing of consequence happened in the actual turn portion. We'll see about the minigame. We'll see about the minigame. Here it is. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew he was just gonna steal his star back, but I had to... I had to try. <laughs> Wario just out here doing dumb stuff, except not really. Yeah, I didn't really have much opportunity to do anything dumb. He's just trying his best at this point. Okay, Luigi... Luigi. Yoshi is definitely gonna steal from... Okay. I was like, please... I'm like, he's gonna definitely steal from Mario, but then watch him stop on my name for some reason. Okay, well this actually kind of works out, because now we all have the exact same number of stars, so unless somebody manages to get to that last star, which I don't know that anybody has a great chance of doing, it's not impossible, but I don't know how likely it is, um, then it's gonna come down to bonuses, which I'm not super confident in. Oh, what? Come on, I could have killed this. Jilly, Jillian, Jillian. Star. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no. Mm -hmm. That's bad for mm -hmm. babies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on, Wario. Mm -hmm. Wow, Yoshi met his demise. No, Wario, what are you doing? Okay, well, for some reason, Wario was like, I think it's a good idea to go behind Mario. I think that's great. Huh. Okay. I'm not going to be a CPU for the last turn. Dang, look, we're all in the 40s, too. So if, like, the bad thing is Yoshi is going to get the coin star bonus, possibly the minigame bonus, too. So he might have this in the bag. Um, I've done decent when it comes to... Ooh. 
I have done decent when it comes to, uh... Sorry. Happening spaces. Sorry, I have to, like, if Billy starts to act up, I have to use this, like, old wrapping paper tube and I just talk through it and it makes- she, like, doesn't like it, so she gets down. <laughs> she stops acting up, if that's the case. Oh, look, I got in this little secret spot. Uh, it's a platforming minigame. It was made for Mario! I guess you're right. Uh, I guess you're right. Dang platformers. I really don't want this last minigame to be a 1v3 or a 2v2. I would much rather it was... Okay, go to see Bowser and get your coins taken. I would much rather it was a four-player, but... Whatever, I guess I don't get to choose. Too bad nobody got a Bowser space with, like, Bowser's Revolution. Because that would be the best. That would be the T. Because then even coins wouldn't be much of a an issue. This again? I don't want to do this again. I don't want to do this again. Ugh. Okay, I gotta try harder this time. Because I didn't go fast enough last time and I paid the price. Come on. I don't even know if pressing A does anything when you do this, but... I'm gonna pretend like it does. Out of my way, you freaking dumb dinosaur! Go! Get out of my way! Out of my way! Oh my god, I hate you. Fine, I, I will steal that chest from you, you moron. You're wasting my time. Good, I get two for one on this one little rock. <laughs> so dumb. Like, was that worth it to you? Was that worth it to you, you dumb dinosaur? Oh my god, you're so annoying. See, you only got like three chests because you were greedy and annoying. Oh my god, that was too much. Way too much for that. Way too much. Okay. Everybody has three stars. It's gonna come down to bonuses. Here's how it looks right now. Okay. So we have minigame star first. <clears throat> what? DK? Okay, if I get the happening star, which I'm not sure that I will, then nothing changes. Huh? How did I get the coin star? How many coins did I get? I thought I only broke like 120. Let's go! Let's go, ladies! Okay, I, I don't know how this happened, because I really thought that Yoshi had the coin star. I am the master of Luigi's engine room. I really was not expecting that. <laughs> I really was not thinking that was gonna happen. Uh, my calculations were all wrong. I don't even know. I have no idea what to say about that. Dang, girl! Oh, but I'm happy, though. That means our roll the die challenge. I I won. I beat another roll the die challenge, and I did pretty dang well. If I do say so myself. Yay! We're on the boat, you guys. We're having our Titanic moment. No iceberg though. We're in the sky, so that's good. Yeah, get your Barney bubbles in chat to celebrate. Mario gets his buns burned on his own brother's boat, and I'm up here with a dinosaur and a monkey. And a ghost, and a mushroom, and a turtle. This is not exactly how I would have a party, but it works. Yay! We did it! So all the steals were necessary, and even not having stolen that one time, it didn't hurt us. Okay, number of minigame coins, 244, 
220... Wait, 222? So I was like... 22 coins short. It must have just been from like coin a thon stuff then. It was closer than I thought though. 222, 220, and 244. Yoshi back. Wow, I didn't realize that Yoshi got that little because he had so many coins. I had 163. Well, I didn't pay any attention because I thought that Yoshi had like 150, which he didn't even get there, so I don't know what I was looking at. I guess I was just wrong, and then I kind of was trying to aim for happening spaces whenever I could, but not all the time, and it just worked out. It was just meant to be, you guys. We saw three Bowser spaces. I think they were all mini games. It was like Tug of War, Bash and Cash, and Facelift. Yeah, they were all mini games. How weird. Huh. Alrighty. Well, we are the champion. We did it! We are the star of Luigi's Engine Room. Also, shout out to Wario being the star of Luigi's Engine Room. Losing half my coins. Oh no. Whatever will I do? I can't even spend these coins on anything. It doesn't matter. Honestly, we did a pretty decent- we had a pretty decent number of stars. Not 29 like my last game, but we had a pretty decent number of stars for a 35 turn game. Where the star moves to. Pretty good. Well, you guys, that's it. That's the challenge. That's the Patreon challenge for the day. Um, let me go ahead and I think I'll just wrap things up a little early today. We're not super early, but um, might as well wrap things up just a little bit early. But I do want to go over um, anything, any gifts that occurred before we before we start wrapping up here. Also, thank you for the follow. Welcome. And we have Power to Mario gifting a sub today. Thank you so much, PTM. You are amazing. And we have Armand resubbing courtesy of Psycho Nacho Man. So thank you again, Psycho, for being so generous all the time and gifting subs. And thank you just for being such a generous person in this community. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch my actual credits page where we'll see all the other events of the day. There we go. Here we go. And we're going to use this intro music. So that's kind of fun too. Alright, you guys. So thank you so much. Uh, uh oh. What did I do? There we go. <laughs> thank you so much for the donation, Casanova. You're so kind. Psycho Nacho Man, Scott Man, and Cass for the bits. Thank you so much. Mega, Odin, Pixie, and Power to Mario for being here as mods. Thank you for all the new follows. Thank you, Psycho, for the credits theme. And thank you, Armand, Madeline, Psycho Nacho Man, Shy Guy for Days, and TK Bomber for the resubs of the day. I really, really appreciate that. Also, special shout out to Scottman895 and my entire Patreon family. Thank you for going the extra mile every single month and for supporting my online content. It really means a lot to me. Please keep an eye out for the podcast if you are in the ten dollar plus tier please keep an eye out for march's podcast coming up um, at the end of the month and then also if you haven't already please vote for your mario party 3 board choice for this friday night mario party so thank you so much to all of these fine folks on this list who have pledged at least five dollars to my patreon and Please check out my Patreon if you're interested. I will include a link in the chat right now. There's also a link in the video description on YouTube always. Um, and you guys, uh, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to go ahead and share my link tree that has all my social media, my Etsy store if you're interested in my online merch, my Discord if you want to connect with other members of this community. And I think we're just we're going to get moving. So let's see who is live to raid. And we'll come up with some hashtags in just a second. Unless nobody is live, then we won't worry about it. But, um, okay. Um, I'm actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to call it, to be honest. Because while Slim Kirby is live, he's streaming Kirby in the Forgotten Land. And I don't want to take any chances on spoilers. So I'm just going to call it. You guys, it's been so much fun. Take care of yourselves this week. It's been a great stream. 
Um, thank you all for being here and participating in the chat. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, thank you, Odie. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Twitch Nick. Uh, virtual hugs to all of you. I will be live again tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern. And um, we'll be playing more of uh, Bowser's Fury. So check that out if you're interested. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your afternoon. Bye, everybody.